Hi guys, so I wanted to do a video today um, basically to show you how to program a Bofeng UV5R now I'm doing it with screen recording software that I've never used before so you have to bear with me if there's any glitches and the microphone on this laptop isn't the greatest but um, there's a lot of videos on how to program these radios on YouTube but a lot of people are ask, still asking me um, so I thought I'd do this video this morning to show uh, to show anyone that's asked me and um, a good friend of mine, uh, John, who uh, who I speak to on Amateur Radio, he's just got his first Bofeng radio um, and he's having a couple of issues with programming so I thought I'd just run through um, a couple of the pieces of software that you need and just show you how to uh, how to program these radios so <clears throat> Assuming that you've never programmed one before and you don't have any of the software, um, I'll show you basically what you need to do. So, you've got your USB driver cable. Now, these cables have a little chip in the USB port on them, um, in the USB sort of socket on them, uh, if that makes sense. I'm not sure the technical term for it. And your computer needs to recognise that, and it's a USB to serial port um, cable, and your computer needs a driver to run that so first piece of software you need if you go to google and just type in Miklaw USB driver the first result that comes up is this cables and drivers prolific and FTDI um, and that's on Miklaw.com so if you click on that it'll basically show you what drivers you need um, for, for what cable and for what operating system so if you have a read through this it shows you it shows you everything you need now the, sh the long and short of it is you need this one which is prolific 3.2.0.0 driver file now this one here uh, I've downloaded both of these and they both work fine but I can't be responsible for any damage to your system from downloading these um, this one here is the 32-bit version and this one here is a 64-bit version. Now, if you don't know what what um, what bit your operating system runs at, if you go into my computer um, and click on System Properties, you can uh, you should get this page. Obviously, depending on what operating system you're on, but it's all pretty similar, and it'll tell you there. Like mine here is a 64-bit operating system, um, so I know that I need the 64-bit one. So, if you click on that and save the file it's called Bofeng Prolific Vista.zip you save that file um, unzip it and run the software inside it's dead easy and um, just like any other piece of software you don't need to do anything else just run that software um, until the installer finishes and you've got the prolific drive driver software set up I'm not going to do this now because I've already done this um, so that's the first piece of software you need. It's the um, it's the driver software for the USB cable. Not a lot of people realise that you, are, you uh, as well as the software for the program in the radio, you do need the software for the USB cable. So that's that one. Now you get a little tiny CD with uh, with Bofeng that apparently contains the programming software. Now I don't use the official Bofeng software ever. Um, I use one called Chirp. So again, if you type in Chirp software into Google and it's chirp.damplanet.com and for the UV5R you can just download it um, on the download page and there you've got Windows installer um, you've got it for Mac, you've got it for Linux you've got it for all sorts of things now if you click on that <coughs> again save the file it's installer.exe, save it, run it um, just like you would any other software and you've got the you've got the programming software down downloaded now what I usually do is if I can find it is get the daily build which is there now th this is one that's updated every day for different radios um, for bug fixes so it's a handy one to get so it's just the chirp daily installer there and um, now if you download an UV5R the chances are you'll only need that basic one there because the UV5R is pretty, uh, pretty well covered with Chirp now so as I say you download that, install it and you're, uh, you're ready to go now if you open the Chirp software and um, you download from radio 
and some people are noticing that the COM port in there is wrong and it'll say unable to connect to the radio there's an issue with the COM port or something like that if you want to know what radio or firstly whether the cable is installed properly if you go in device manager in Windows um, like that and click on ports it'll tell you um, whether it's installed properly or not if it's installed properly you should have something similar to that showing and it tells you it's in COM port 3 if you've got a laptop with plenty of USB ports um, sometimes that can change um, so obviously this one is in COM port 3 and the software is installed correctly so if you open Chirp click on radio at the top and download from radio select your COM port 3 it's a Bofeng you can see in here there's plenty of different manufacturers of radios Bofeng UV5R <coughs> and click OK after plugging the radio in of course you'll see the button come up saying that it's it's cloning now it's not actually cloning anything it's just reading the data from the radio um, all these both things come with pre-programmed pre channels <coughs> okay so there you go everything that's in the radio obviously I've programmed this already everything that's in there is in it and this software is dead easy to use you've just got your um, you've got your frequency and um, you transmit frequency or you receive frequency in there uh, yeah on this radio that's your receive frequency so for example for a repeater um, you've got the output frequency you can put the name in the method of encoding which is tone, tone squelch, DTCS, um, CTCSS and all that sort of stuff you can set your tone in there um, now you'll see these have got entries in the only column that will work is the one that you've selected in there so if you select if you select tone for repeater that's the only one that will work so don't worry about having data in those that doesn't apply it only applies it only corresponds with which one you've got so if you put DTCS in that's the code that will be used so tone it'll be 103.5 for example for that repeater um, now you can set your shift so it's plus minus or split or off so it's plus for this repeater you can set the offset which is 7.6 in this case uh, your mode of transmission and your power your power level so that's pretty much it so when you've when you've put all your entries in you can do um, you know you can do simplex as well so I've got the two meter calling frequency there with no encoding so none of these here apply no tone no uh, duplex no offset and just the high power which is about four watts <coughs> when you've done that if you click in settings you can go through here and change all your settings which I'll not go through now it's uh, simple enough so let's say you've programmed everything in you click on radio upload to radio check your com ports right it's both in UV5R and just click OK and now it is cloning and you'll notice a little flashing light a little yellow flashing light on the front of your radio and that means that the radio is accepting the data that's going to it so it's very simple it's mainly those two pieces of software that are tripping people up um, the Bofeng software itself, I don't think, is that great, so I always use Chirp, and it's just the uh, it's just the prolific driver software for the programming cable, which is tripping a lot of people up. So, so yeah. So once that's done, you can also save it, so you can come and edit it at another time. You just um, close that off, unplug your radio, and you're uh, you're ready to go. So I hope that helped. Hope that cleared a lot of things up for people. Like I say, there's videos all over the internet of uh, and YouTube of people explaining how you program the, soft, the software and the radio um, but people are asking me so I hope that helps to the guys that have asked and John I hope that helped you as well so uh, thanks for watching and 7-3 for now